Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm meteorologist Amber Lee. If you are very susceptible to humidity, especially your hair, well, you're not going to like our forecast for the next couple of days. And that's because that monsoonal moisture is coming back in our dew points. So far, so good. You probably will see some volume today, but it definitely gets a lot curlier as we head into the next few days. And that's because dew point, another good form of moisture measurement in our atmosphere, sitting right now in the upper 50s, low 60s, but it should get into the low, the mid to low 60s once we head into Saturday and Sunday. Normally our dew points here in the Southland in the mid 50s and that's the way we like it with that dry stable air but it's slowly going to start to increase because of all of this moisture coming in from the southwest and that on top of everything could trigger isolated thunderstorms and showers not just for the high elevations like the mountains and deserts but possibly for the coast and valley so there is a chance that we could see some of these storms drifting to the west of the mountains. Here's a look at that satellite radar tracker. We also have a possibility of these overnight showers to take place as especially over the mountains in our desert communities. And then by Saturday afternoon, we start to see much more activity picking up as that monsoon flow surges. So this is the reason why we could see it drift west of the mountains into the lower elevations. And then a lot of that also could happen again on Sunday. The reason for all this high pressure coming in from the east, slowly moving closer to us here in the Southland. And that is why we're going to see this influx of moisture, not just tomorrow and Sunday, but as we head into Monday, possibly into Tuesday, LA and Orange County, your temperatures are going to stay in the mid to actually in the low 80s. And then again, there is a chance for those isolated thunderstorms and showers over the weekend. Valley, same thing. Temperatures roughly in the mid 90s for the next few days. Inland Empire, mid to upper 90s. Really not a lot of change. Only difference will be it's going to start to feel a lot more sticky for our likings here in the Southland. Beaches, there's a small percentage that we could see these showers drift closer to the coast, but temperatures are pretty much going to stay in the mid 70s. And then for the high desert communities, 102 today. And then we have that better chance of those storms picking up by the afternoon once we head into Saturday, stretching all the way possibly till Tuesday. Mount communities 83 degrees, and you can see as the humidity flows in, our temperatures drop to the upper 70s.